This is a factored form example, and I'm calling it a factored form because it's equal to zero, and it's already been factored. So notice this is five times x minus three times two x minus five equals zero. So let's solve it. So notice I have these three things multiplied together to give me zero. It's tempting to try and multiply it all out, but we don't have to. It's already equal to zero, so it's already factored. So since those things are multiplied together, that means either this equals zero, 5 never equals 0, so that doesn't matter. Or this thing equals 0, x minus 3 equals 0. We'll solve that and get one of our answers. Or this thing equals 0, uh, 2x minus 5 equals 0. We'll solve that and get our other answer. So to solve uh, this one over here on the left, I'm just going to add 3 to both sides. So plus 3 plus 3. So x equals 3. And on um, this one, to solve this one for x, I'm going to get x all alone, so I'm going to add 5, then I'm going to divide by 2. So first thing I'm going to do is add 5 to both sides, and I end up with uh, 2x equals 5. And then I'll just divide both sides by 2, and there's my other answer. And I'm going to do one, another one just like it over here on the right. Three things multiplied together give me 0, so either this equals 0, 6 number equals 0, or this equals 0 x plus 7 equals 0, or this thing equals 0, uh, 5x plus 3 equals 0. And if I solve both these equations, they'll give me my answers for x. This one on the left just subtracts 7 from both sides, so minus 7. Whoa, I don't know what happened there. Um, actually, I do know what happened there. Uh, subtract 7 from both sides, so x equals negative 7. Or on this one, I'm, again, I'm, I'm working to get x all alone. So I'm going to subtract 3, divide by 5. Subtract 3 from both sides. Divide by 5. <coughs> Sorry. x equals negative 3 fifths. And there you go.